G'day guys, it's Dwayne here from Dewey HQ. Persona 5 X's second beta has kicked off and the data miners have been at work and revealing new characters, personas and gameplay mechanics. Unfortunately, I didn't manage to get access to this beta, but the kind folks over at Persona Central have been doing a top job of collaborating all the new info from the new test. Be sure to head over to the page I've linked below for the other smaller details such as new Persona artworks drawn up for the Chinese market. Simply, all Personas that are showing too much skin are covered and any Personas with skulls have been changed to masks. So let's jump in and check out the new Persona users. First we get some new renders of Soy and Mandarin who were shown in the previous trailer. Soy has also been confirmed as an Ice Element user. We also receive some better renders of Tomoko whose codename has been confirmed as Kotomo alongside her Psy based persona Prosimna. Prosimna or Prosiminus was a shepherd who lived by the bottomless Alcillian Lake and guided Dionysus on his journey to Hades to rescue his mother. We also find out that Tokomo is a talented baseball catcher and won many competitions with her eye. Along with Tokomo, we got confirmation of the Red Panda Persona user who's known as Yaoling Li, codename Rin, and her curse-based persona, Mengpo. Mengpo is known in Chinese mythology as the goddess of forgetfulness. Yaoling is a first-year university student living in Japan, however her homeland is in Sichuan in China. She's described as outgoing and carefree with a childish personality. Next up is Kiyoshi Kuratani, who was briefly shown in Trailer 2, codenamed Ki. Equipped with a fire-based persona, Psyche. Ki is a first-year student and claims to have psychic powers and believes that he is the chosen one. Psyche in Greek mythology was known as a hamadrad, a being that lives within the trees and is seen as a spirit or guardian of the trees. Psyche is also one of the coolest looking personas in recent memory. Following this we have Ryo Kamiyama, known as Leo and wields the nuclear-based persona, Etheria. Etheria is one of the three Hesperides or nymphs of the West in Greek mythology. The theme of Carmen Rider is shown throughout all of his outfit and his persona and directly ties into his aspiration to become an actor. Lastly, Kayo Toyama, which seems to have excited everyone in the fan base, codename Okayan, and her persona Cleodora. Cleodora was a prophetic nymph who could divine the future by throwing stones and pebbles. Kayo is a 44 year old housewife and a former fashionista. She'll act as the navigator for your party and it's likely that Kayo is the default navigator for the game, but I imagine you could swap her out to Futaba if you pulled her on the gacha. Along with the reveal of new Persona users, we have the confirmation of highlight attacks, which are essentially showtime attacks executed by only one party member rather than two. Furthermore, we've also been given glimpses into some of the new UI based in the game, which range from text message portraits, menu icons, and activity icons featuring Wonder. Before the beta test went live, the developers actually confirmed that Wonder is able to change outfits manually in the real world. This seems to range from just uniforms, casual clothes, and workout gear. Other major reveals include the return of Velvet Room Trials from Royal, where you can aim for a high score while fighting set enemies, this could also invite special challenges like those found in P5R, such as the Yu and Makoto boss fights. Through data mined tutorial screenshots, it seems that we can upgrade our weapon through enhancements or by reforming it. Alongside this, we can also confirm that mini games such as the batting cages and fishing are still present. Another point of interest that I'd like to highlight looks to be a new mechanic within Mementos, which features a character along with a basket and a vending machine. It seems that players will need to collect what looks to be seals and trade them in with this machine. I would argue that this feature is likely identical to Jose from Royal when flower collecting. There has yet to be an official confirmation for beta access outside of China at this stage. However, there seem to be some rumblings that the next test may be a little bit more open to the public. This might provide the developers with more network related tests for more users having better access to the beta. If this does come to fruition, I'll be certain to cover this and let you all know. In the meantime, if we get any major updates on the game, I'll be certain to follow up with a video. And be sure to subscribe if you enjoy content like this. Do keep in mind that the next major news drop for Persona 3 Reload should take place in around 10 days time. Until then, it was Dwayne here from Dewey HQ. I'll see you in the next video.